Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals. Welcome to this week's update, which focuses on our patients. Today we'll hear from plaster technicians Charlene Brown and Ben Gracie about a, an initiative to put QR codes on plaster casts, allowing patients to easily access information and advice about their casts. I didn't know a plastic technician was a job until I came to a job as a healthcare assistant here in the orthopaedic department. A job became available as a trainee plaster technician. So I went through the training and became qualified four years ago. It's a great job. It's a very hands-on job, so you get you feel like you're, you're making a difference to patients. Every day is different meeting different people. Put this little bit of padding down the middle which when you finally come for this cast taking off, it'll just give the scissors a nice surface to rest on, so it won't go through and cut you or anything like that. Oh, that's nice to know. It is a bit yeah, it's reassuring. It is, it? Like, yeah. you, don't, you don't really want to cut your arm. It's just a great place to wear. I love, I love what I do. You get to know your patients, you get to spend time talking to them. It's a very creative job because sometimes a normal cast wouldn't fit a patient, so we have to use our skills to think of a custom cast to make for that patient, so that's my favourite part of the job. But we get all ages, all backgrounds and everything, quite an eclectic mix of people. And it's working with them to find a cast that will support their injury, but they feel comfortable in. So I'll just mould it now. We get a, what we call a three-point fixation, just around your palm. I always think when people come in here, they're, they're going to be in pain. It's a stressful environment if it's the child or themselves. Nine times out of ten, they don't, they don't remember half of what we're telling them. What we used to do is just give a leaflet with everything on, which people can they'll, they'll forget half the time because obviously they're not thinking about it. We had a patient that was coming back three, four times a week. We were going through the advice. It wasn't listening to the advice. We would give him leaflets. And I went to speak to Mr Hannant who helped with this QR code and I said the only way this patient is going to understand or follow instructions is if I staple the instructions to his cast and that just sort of like snowballed the idea into finding something that would attach to casts and that's where the QR idea came from. It's something physical on the cast there, once they've scanned it it'll stay on the phone, they can access it via the Trust website as well. Coming on from work, rushing as you do, and um, fell. It had just been mending from last time, so I just started doing everything really that I wanted to do again and then broke it again. With the QR code, you know, obviously they give you that advice when you, you come to hospital, but it opens up a lot of doors where you're not having to try and get through a, a department because you can scan that on your phone, you've got access to it and you can see all sorts of things. It can give you an answer to a problem that you might have with your hand or, you know, is it, if it's going to be a serious thing and when, you, you know, you're okay to manage it yourself, but other than that, when you need to contact the hospital as well. We have eight different types of casts that we do and with variations for each cast. Depending on which cast you have, depends on which QR code you get. Um, each QR code is unique to the cast that the patient has. Um, so when they go onto the website or when they scan the code, it takes them directly to the cast that they have. I was just going out of my mum's door to go into my car. My life just gave away. That's all. It's easy as that. They're taking the temporary pot off put a lightweight pot on now, so hopefully I'll be able to walk on it. She's given me a sandal thing there. It's all new to me as well. I've never broken a bone in my life, but with this QR code, it will help a heck of a lot. Once, once I get her on settled down, I can check it, see what I need to do. So we have noticed a massive reduction in phone calls and everything. People are coming back and everything's fine. They've, they've adhered to the advice. We've just done, had a look at um, the analytical review that somebody has done for us in it shows that people are spending a lot of time, I think on average about four to five minutes actually reading it. One of the best things about it is we're not having as many patients phone us up because they've got the advice there, it's attached to the cast, so they're more likely to look at that before they phone us up and most of the time they can find the answer that they're looking for on the website. So it's reducing the amount of phone calls coming through which means we're able to spend more time 
with our patients and give them that high standard of care that we like to give.